Hey scholars, I'd like to uh, show you a quick thing with the Microsoft stuff. In case you're having difficulty um, uploading documents on Schoology, what I'd like you to do instead of emailing me the attachments every time you've got something new, because that could get tricky to find things, is I'd like you to go into your OneDrive and I'd like you to go ahead and create a folder there if you don't already have a folder there. You create a folder by clicking on new and folder. And you could create your folder and you could give it a title like uh, chemistry or physics if you're in physics, um, distance learning work. And you create that folder then within that folder, what you can do is you can create new folders, especially if you've got multiple pictures to upload. And so you could say in here, your folder could be stoichiometry practice worksheet. And then in that folder, let's say you've got um, photos to include here of work or something like that. Then you can browse from here to find the work you want to upload, but you could also pull up a window with I'm trying to share it. You could pull up your own file explorer. And when you pull up your own file explorer, you could go to wherever you've got your pictures saved and you could go in and you can drag things from your folder, and I know you can't really see me dragging this into the um, office, but you can drag that into the folder. Let me switch back over. So now I'm dragging that into that folder and it uploads it as a fit photo. And if you named your photos like, uh, Activity A, Activity B, Activity C, if you're trying to show me gizmo work, if you named the folders with a number range for the um, problems that you worked, then that's a better way to keep things organized. And then when you're in your email, if you would go ahead and when you're sending things to me, also do it like this, where your subject line would be assignment work or um, the name of the assignment, could at least be distance learning, um, stoichiometry practice, work. And in the body, you can just say my folder, has been updated to show this work. And then you can send that off. If you would also make sure that in OneDrive, your top level folder, so the chemistry or physics distance learning work, if you would take that folder and share it with me, if you make sure that I can edit, then what I can do is I can leave you comments on those documents if I need to leave you comments on the documents. And you can copy that link. And when you copy that link, you can paste that into your very first email to me telling me that you've got work on your OneDrive folder that you need to share with me. And then every time you update that, you can reply to that email. So here on this email, let's say this was actually a reply and you were replying to me with that other link. When you pop the window out like, like this, it gives you the choice to change the subject and you would want to change the subject to reflect whatever the current assignment was. But down below, 
would be the link to your folder so that you can, you and me can keep an email chain going with any updates to your OneDrive folder that you need to share with me. That's only if you're having difficulty submitting things on Schoology. So if the method of submission is not working for you on Schoology, please use the OneDrive folder. Um, if everybody starts emailing me assignments, then that's how things get lost or overlooked, like is what happened for a few people with their test corrections. So just make sure that you are either submitting on Schoology or creating an up-to-date folder on OneDrive that is always shared with me where you can drop in any work that you need to show me. Thanks.